In this video, I'll explain some of the ways zombies are moved around the game. Starting in the custom sandbox mode, you can see I'm using the Apocalypse preset, which matches the settings of the Apocalypse game mode. I jump down to advanced zombie options and immediately raise the zombie population. This will exaggerate a mechanic of the migration system. I will briefly explain what these options do because many of them have a migration-like effect. Population multiplier, population start multiplier, and population peak multiplier combine to modify how many zombies you want in the game. The peak multiplier and peak day setting allow you to set up a growing or decreasing amount of zombies that peaks on the set peak day. It's 28 by default. Respawn hours is how long between zombie respawns. By default, every three days, 10% of zombies respawn. Areas that you have recently been to do not respawn zombies. This is 16 hours by default. Redistribute hours is the mechanic I will call zombie migration, mostly because the tooltip calls it migration. This mechanic spreads out the zombies evenly within a cell. Since this is 12 hours by default and the game starts at 9 a.m., the first migration should occur at 9 p.m. In my opinion, if you are making a high population run, you might want to change it to something much longer. Otherwise, you end up having to kill almost all the zombies in a cell just to keep one small area clear for more than a day. Rally group separation is the distance groups of zombies try to stand apart from each other, and this can quickly spread out a horde of zombies once they lose interest in whatever called them together. It also becomes relevant when you really crank the population up. Groups of zombies can be ejected from an area as you kill off the closer groups, allowing them to spread out and feel almost infinite. Respawns fill in areas you have already killed zombies in, making it appear that they walked in. Something I find interesting is that the Respawn Hours tooltip references a cell, while the Respawn Unseen Hours tooltip references chunks. To test this out, I did a test run with Migration turned off and Peak Day set to Day 1. Then I cleared the zombies from a cell and waited. Lo and behold, it did start respawning zombies in some grids near me, but not within the loaded area. The loaded area must be the scene area reference, which is slightly larger than you can zoom out, and see in 1440p or lower resolutions. Yes, you heard that correctly. Your resolution determines how far you can see. Respawns also seem to stall out, but I guess it barely matters if the respawn system stalls for 30 seconds compared to the timescale of gameplay. I've seen several instances in which zombies spawn very close to the player, and I can only assume it's the respawn system going haywire. Now that that spiel is over, I'll come back around to migration. I teleport to somewhere in West Point, and we can watch as the spread out zombies group up via the rally group system. You can see that they do a great job of hitting their separation number when they start in a smooth spread. Now I'll delete all the zombies around me and wait till 9pm for the migration to happen. There it is. You can see the cell is the larger square I'm inside. Those white dots appear to be simulated zombie groups. If you watch one move to an unloaded area, it turns into several red dots. Here we hit the first drawback to the system. The zombies all spawn on the edge of the loaded zone around me and there's no carried over command for where they should go. This leaves any further spread up to random chance and rally groups. Rally groups are also not great at this. While it does end up pushing some groups out of the horde, it doesn't move them very far, meaning we get this pattern two or three rally groups deep with a mass amount remaining on the edge. This isn't all bad as the migration system deciding to move a group of zombies right next to you would get annoying. However, it could also detect and not move zombies into your area in the first place. It's at this point I'm going to have to remind you guys that what you see here does not reflect normal gameplay. It's highly unlikely you manage to kill all the zombies in the loaded area without moving or drawing in zombies from outside that area. Just the act of moving around will allow the rally group system to spread them out much more effectively. There's also the chance that another migration tick happens and spreads the zombies out properly again while you are not in that area. Fun fact, zombies don't make rally groups while they are in a forest. If the edge of the loaded area is in a forest during a migration event, you can end up with a massive wall of zombies just chilling out there. Probably best to go away and let the next migration tick spread them back out because that is nightmare fuel. There's also the question of just how many people play with the zombie population cranked up so high. With a low or normal population, you would still have a square of zombie groups pop up around you, but no insurmountable wall of flesh. There also seems to be a mechanic setting off the redistribution upon entering a new cell after a certain time period, meaning it will be a lot harder to manipulate those events than simply remembering 9am and 9pm. On the other hand, if it really does activate when you enter a cell, you can guarantee you have 12 hours to clear without interruption and to position yourself in an advantageous place for the redistribution to occur. Of course, your plans could very easily be ruined by a sound event. In fact, the random event gunshot is terrifically loud. It draws in zombies from a huge distance, and if it wasn't for the little protection square around yourself catching them on the edges, you would witness true hordes of zombies marching past. 
This is kind of disappointing to me. Thousands of zombies marching past as a cower in a house sounds amazing. The game is balanced around the current system, and surviving might be questionable, but man would it be immersive. What else moves zombies around? Sirens, player gunshots, house alarms, you know, anything that is loud. I'm sure everyone has accidentally beeped the horn in their car and had to make a AC retreat. The helicopter event is another one that really moves zombies from a wide area, except this time they all want to give you a warm welcome to the Whirlybird party rather than a random spot. You might ask what happens if all the zombies in the cell area are dead. Well, uh, nothing I guess? You'd have to wait for them to respawn again. That's if respawns are even on. I know many prefer to play with it off. The only way for zombies to enter the cell at that point is randomly shuffling in from a nearby cell when that is possible or a sound event gathering them there. Now that we are certified zombie migration analysts, is there any way we can exploit this knowledge? As I mentioned before, the ability to time to redistribution ticks is likely the easiest to manipulate. If you want to keep a foothold somewhere, you definitely do not want to be sleeping far away or all your work could disappear. There's also some implication to car trips. Since zombies will be constantly forming their rally groups as you drive, driving slower will allow them to group up before you pass, making it easier to avoid incidental damage. Driving faster will mean the groups are less dense and you can ram through without a chance of getting bogged down. Another way to abuse the system would be to figure out which sound efficiently pulls the most zombies and then quickly run away so they're locked in place while you freely loot somewhere else. This is already a common way to loot, but having a good idea of knowing when they will spread back out can allow you to make a timely escape. Is there anything about the migration system I would want improved? In my opinion, the redistribution tick happening to the entire cell at the same time is a little too simple, especially since zombies can be moved very far. Maybe reducing the time between ticks and limiting the distance zombies are allowed to move so that it takes more than one tick to move zombies all the way across the cell. Something to make the migration smoother over time rather than an on-off switch that spreads the entire cell evenly in one go. This could also be a stepping stone to the simulated zombies carrying their pathing over when they enter the player's influence zone without them overwhelming the player. Before I finish off this video, I want to show some weird interactions with zombies on a dedicated server. I've been playing a lot of multiplayer and notice that gunshots and even helicopters sometimes do not pull nearby zombies. Here's two examples of zombies not properly coming to my yells. and an even more egregious example of a zombie not coming to a siren. If you have played multiplayer recently, you may have noticed that the zombies are especially brain dead, and I think this bug might have something to do with it. Leave a comment if you know what has gone wrong. It's clear that the zombies detects the sound and starts reacting, but immediately resets back to its old spot. I checked and one of the clips doesn't occur near a cell edge either. 